Hello, hello Aries. Welcome to your December reading. Let's get started. So you start the first week of December with a full card. I do see you guys just going for an adventure, leaping into the unknown, taking a chance, taking an opportunity. You don't know where it's going to take you. The details are not clear, but you're so optimistic and you're so courageous. And of course, Aries are the first of the Zodiac. So you guys are the initiators. You're... <laughs> Um, you're also, you're also a cardinal sign, so you're always you're all about taking leadership and you know taking charge and going for something new. And this is what I see for you in the first week. It's a very strong energy. You you're going with that gut intuition, going towards the unknown, going for a new adventure, and see <laughs> and and you believe in yourself so much that you're uh, that that you're feeling like I'm gonna try it. If it doesn't work, I'm still gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a chance. That's that's the energy that I'm getting with the full card. Uh, with the King of Swords, I do see that for some of you, this can be an indication that this person is offering you this opportunity. So this can be um, someone that either has their ascendant or their sun sign, either in Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, air signs. And this is a person that is very smart, um, very just, very um, patriarchal in the way he does things and, um, and he follows the law and he is very um, kind of... A, kind of a very serious and, and prudent attitude towards life. And this can either be an opportunity that they're offering, or this can be a male figure in your life that is advising you to be careful and don't just jump, but think before before you take this leap, think before you make this initiative. The fool kind of just goes with the flow and doesn't really overthink things. But the king of swords is someone that is very, very logical, smart, practical, analyzes everything, doesn't just follow the intuition. He follows his mind. He follows his logic. So it's kind of like the opposite energy of the full card. And that's exactly what you need if you're just going <laughs> towards uh, towards a new adventure without really knowing what's going to happen. And this, this uh, strong male figure in your life is trying to uh, make you see things in a more logical way and make the right decisions for yourself. In the second week with the Knight of Wheels... Wow, and we have the full card again. So this energy, the full energy is very, very strong during during December. You really want to go into a new adventure. You really want to try something new. You really want to just take a chance. Um, you know, something is something inside of you really wants to take the, the initiative um and, and 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 take a risk there there's all about taking taking risk in this sense and things might not go as uh, as fast as you want them to with the knight of uh, of wheels i do see this very slow steady energy um that it, it's a little bit irritating for aries because aries want everything fast 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 you know, get the you, you guys get bored very easily. You want to move on into the next into the next thing. And the night, uh, the night of wheels especially is very slow, very steady. So it, it's important at this time in the second week to realize that there's is this is going to be a long journey. You have to work, work, putting those that steady work and and um and sacrifices and do everything you need to do right on time all of that before you can completely jump and and take that and and take that chance so you're not for what i can see aries you're not ready yet you still need a lot more work you still need to 
maybe practice more or figure out all the details because you can have a plan but from from the point when you have that plan to making that to manifesting that into reality there is a whole bunch of steps in between that you have to figure out every single step before you can i don't know launch a website launch a product or open a new business or try something on or a new career or whatever it might be um so there is a long process so try to um, try to learn more, try to understand things more, try to do different things. And with the energy of the hanged man, this is, this is a great indication that you need to pause, reevaluate everything, prioritize what's really important for you. And if you have to give up a few things, that's what you have to do to succeed. Okay, the hangman is a time for you to meditate, is a time for you to sit still, stop jumping up and down everywhere, uh, Aries, just sit still, try to think things through, realize what's really important for you, what's really, what are the steps that you need to take, what are the things that you're wasting your energy on, cut those off, focus on that one thing, and and maybe there is a need to look at things in a different perspective, okay? Not just keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. You have to do different things in order to get different results and try different things. And that's the energy that I'm getting with the hangman. There is this need here for a transformation. There is this need here uh, for things to for things to basically unfold for you guys. Okay, that's that's the energy that I'm getting with a with a hangman, um, and I also see this. Even though you want to take the chance, you're also fearful of of this transformation because it's very radical. It's going to bring a huge change in your life, and you're kind of scared of of taking that chance. Okay, it's like in a way you want to fail just so you can say, okay, I tried it, I failed it, I don't have to do it anymore. Um, and that's the, that's the energy that I'm getting with the death card, uh, because this is connected also with that Scorpio, with that Pluto energy. That's something that completely transforms us, but it's for our benefit is for our good is to bring us to a different place and to bring us to uh, our, our higher self and and improve of who we are as, as as people take us to that next level that's the energy of the death card but with the hangman you're still scared you're scared of that of that huge transformation but make sure you take those steps and you're prepared because with the death card in reverse i do see that this is something that has to happen something has to come to an end something new something new has to has to take place of the old and if you don't do anything about it then the universe is going to make it so that uh, things are going to unfold or if if you feel like you're not comfortable at your current job and you're trying for different jobs and um, in a way you're not really doing your best on interviews just to say yeah I tried but I, I didn't want to you know I tried but I didn't got the, the job or hey I'm trying to open this business but it's not working if that's what you're feeling then maybe the universe is going to take you to that place when you're going to be laid off or let go and that, then you really have to go from there and take things in consideration and actually do the steps that you need to do so yeah that's that's what i'm feeling with with the death card in reverse so try to do everything you can and prepare yourself aries before you take this this step with a full card and in the last week the very last week of december with the hairpin and the five of cups i do see that there is this need for you guys to um to do things different okay different than w whatever your tradition imposes on you or your family beliefs or your religion you kind of want to get get out of that confinement you want to be free you want to do your own thing you want you want to have your own beliefs for some of you you might even shift your um you might even shift your 
uh, your beliefs, your belief system, your religious beliefs. You might start changing. Um, you you might want to be independent. You want to leave the past behind of you. There is a lot of sadness that I see for some of you, Aries. There, there's a lot of things that haven't really uh, worked the way you wanted to or you've been heartbroken in the past or you've been disappointed in the past and now you're kind of you just kind of want to leave all of that behind and look towards the future and focus on more positive things but there is this strong need here uh, to get out of that confinement or those social standards or um, whatever is required from you from your family or from your peers or from uh, your religion or you, you just kind of want to be your own person and have your own beliefs and have your own identity um, that that's what I'm feeling for you Aries but guys try to take uh, you know the end of the year uh, try try to enjoy it with your family members, you know, the holidays, everything. Don't overstress too much. Uh, I would say it's a good time to just reflect on 2020, on this past year, what things do you want to change, what new things you want to accomplish in 2021. Um, maybe set some goals for yourself. So just try to take this month more relax and not overthink things so much and you know don't don't stress so much during this month just just make uh just make sure you make yourself a priority your family your loved one and you just spend some good quality time with them and from the oracle of healing the message is negativity a way for you to heal it's to alleviate yourself from negativity it's to walk away from negativity uh, maybe take some time relax sleep um, focus on yourself focus on your well-being um, as I said if someone is giving you a hard time or if you're feeling like you're not comfortable around uh, around some people and they're very negative very toxic take time for yourself Take time to uh, relax. Take time to uh, maybe for some of you to meditate and um, and to reflect. This is this is a great indication for uh, for December. From the Oracle of the uh, of animals, the message for you, uh, the animal for you is a camel, and the message is trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you very very strong message and i also want to connect this with <laughs> we have two different two different animals here this is from the oracle of angels and our spirit guides and the message is spirit fox trust your talents in changing times okay and something that we both that we know about the fox and the camel is that the fox is a very resilient animal they can live in the arctic they can live in urban areas so they're very adaptable to to their environment they're very smart uh, they know how to hunt and even though they've been hunted for centuries because of their their beautiful for they're still being able to survive so use that same primal instinct to uh, of that survival instinct for yourself as well and know that you have the courage to overcome everything you have uh trust in yourself trust in your talent and the camel on the other end is one of those animals that can go a very long time in the desert another extreme climate uh climate without water so they have the resources within them okay to get through through this so it's, it's both it's kind of like the same message with from from two different decks indicating to believe in yourself, believe in your talent, believe that no matter how challenging the times can get, you are still going to be able to get through them and 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 get on the other side <laughs> and improve your your situation. So beautiful messages there. Um, from the Oracle of Crystals, the crystal for you for this month is the Labradorite. And I also have a uh, Labradorite here. It's one of my absolute favorite crystals. As you can see, there is some sparks of um, 
of blues and greens and yellows um, hope I can catch the light so beautiful colors there it's called from the mystics like the stone of magic it's great to manifest your dreams um, it's said that you can put it under your pillow and it helps you kind of uh, recalling dreams um, and it also it it helps uh, it's said that it um, it helps increase your intelligence your it improves your eyesight or your nerves um, i i use it to meditate it, it helps with psychic abilities it helps with um, also just being more cautious um, kind of reaching a higher um, level of consciousness uh, that's that's the message with <laughs> with the labradorite and will be a great crystal for you guys to meditate with especially for those who are trying to be more spiritual who are trying to find their own who are shifting the way they see the world and you're trying to find your own path in life and maybe you might have started uh, you know uh, learning more about crystals or learning more about spirituality or learning more about tarot or astrology that might might be something that you might be very interested in uh, so using uh, labradorite starting <laughs> starting with that will will help you during this process and uh, it's it's something that you have to practice if you're if you're a beginner and you've never meditated before or you've never used crystals before you might not feel the energy right away um, but it's something that you have to keep in a way you have to kind of keep practicing you you sit down you try to calm your mind you work through your breathing and you keep practicing and practicing and the more the more you practice the better you you get at just being able to quiet calm your mind and and really focus and really meditate okay and from the oracle of love the message for you guys is do something for someone give your attention to another beautiful message and you can either do something for an animal or you, maybe you can even adopt an animal during december you know try to do something for people that are in need they can be your family members they can be uh, loved ones they can be even people that you don't know but that you know that they need help or children or um just it's, it's the end of the year is it's a good time every <laughs> all all the time is a good time to, to to do something something good and uh put out that that good karma but especially during this time uh it's a good time to get together with family and kind of see not make ourselves completely uh, the center of everything but give that attention and be more loving and more open-hearted to other people as well and especially to people that that need that are in need that people that uh they might be they might be ill or people that really don't have the resources especially for those of you guys who have been blessed and abundant try giving to others would be would be um very very good karma for you for for the end of december and from the oracle of money and the law of attraction the message is i can always tell a different financial abundance story and the message is what anyone else has or does not have has nothing to do with you the only thing that affects your experience is is the way you utilize the non-physical energy with your thought your abundance or lack of it in your experience has nothing to do with that uh, what anybody else is doing or having if only has it only has to do with your perspective it only has to do with your offering of thought. If you want your fortune to shift, you have to begin telling a different story. 
very 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 beautiful beautiful message very straightforward i can tell a different financial ab uh, financial abundance story this is so important to not compare ourselves with other people or what other people have uh it's it's very very true and i i hope that most a lot more people start doing that focus more on what they have or what they want to achieve or what they want to manifest instead of comparing themselves to other or always being in 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 a way in a competition who's got more i got this you got that i, I bought the latest um i don't know pair of shoes or whatever it might be it's it's uh, we have to focus on our energy what we're manifesting if we're coming from a place of envy jealousy you know those lower vibration those lower vibration feelings we're going to attract more of that if we think of ourselves as abundant beings as uh, we're worthy of of financially of being financially abundant and having everything we need and more then we're going to attract more of that so just focus on your on your energy don't look around what other people are doing and how they're spending their money or how much they have and how less you have don't don't compare yourself to no one just focus on what your goals and um and your dreams are everybody has a different timing everyone there's a different plan for everyone not uh, <laughs> we're not all going to have everything at the same time so just just keep your energy as and your vibration as high as possible okay okay my friends from the oracle of your life path the message is flowers working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose beautiful message and i'm feeling aries that for some of you this can be very straightforward so just working with flowers or working with plants or you might you know have different produce that you sell or something like that but for some of you i'm also feeling the need to maybe connect with the earth and be grounded maybe sometimes you're too much in your head you're too much you you're you're very excited you have all this energy you're doing all these different things at different times but you're never just sitting down just being calm relaxed just seeing what's happening just focusing on um you know on actually being present in the moment appreciating the small thing appreciating a beautiful flower uh, how 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 beautifully it's built that that magic of nature uh, smelling that flower just being present in that moment not always we have to just pursue something or look for something uh, or you know manifest sometimes we just have to just enjoy being alive and being where we are right now and try to find the joy in in small things okay um i'm feeling that for some of you guys it's just not always just looking up sometimes we gotta look down too and see what's beneath our feet not just what's above us um just that just the energy of of feeling grounded uh feeling grounded and really maybe even touching touching the earth um maybe even just walking bare bare uh with our feet in the earth i know it's december in some places it's probably very cold uh i i live in florida so it's still it's still warm here uh but if you can you know what i'm saying just be outside in nature be outside in nature uh, breathe breathe in that fresh air look at the snow look at the trees look at everything around you and and enjoy that moment be present in that moment take a deep breath and and just kind of emerge yourself in that in that scenery that that's what i'm strongly feeling for you guys and from the oracle of the moon the message is a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries wow so the when when the moon uh, when we have a full moon the energy is very high it's coming to a peak even the um 
level of oceans and seas rises and it's basically something that we have inside of us it's coming to a surface on during a full moon and being in the sign of aries it's in your sign and it's very fiery okay it's very fiery your emotions are bubbling up or coming to the surface you might feel very snappy you might have a very hot temper uh some sometime during december so try to keep yourself calm that's maybe that's why i'm feeling so much this energy of telling you to be grounded and spend time in nature uh because of this fire energy with the full moon in aries and there's this desire for you to lead but you're also being very stubborn very pushy very bossy very dominant very dominating and um and there's some good qualities, but try to keep things on a good balance because it's easier to go from from being passionate uh, about something and to being pushy and, uh, um, you know, and dictatorial or kind of very demanding towards other people. So try to keep that balance there and to keep that temper and that all that fire energy <laughs> kind of under control and keep yourself relaxed during this this full moon um in aries but something is coming to a peak for sure uh something is coming to to a peak and there is this need here for for a new beginning for something new to to happen uh yeah just listen to the people around you uh, especially if you have this male figure in your life that you know is it's looking after you and is trying to help you listen to them get the get the advice that you need ground yourself make rational decisions uh and yeah and most of all just enjoy enjoy the last the last month of of 2020 and uh, make some plans maybe for uh 2021 thank you so much for for spending this time with me and for all the love and support during 2020 i wish you guys a great year um many many blessings to all of you and i see you in uh next year 2021 with uh, new predictions. Bye-bye.